Aloha gang, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over three ways that you can come up with super fire melodies super quick using Scalar 2. Let's get it. If you guys are new to Scalar, this tutorial is gonna do wonders for your songwriting, your beat making, and your melody creating. So the first technique we're gonna to use to create really cool melodies is by using the performance function right in Scalar 2. So let's check it out. Real quick, before we get started, smash that like button so more people can find this video. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and grow your mixing and production skills. All right, let's jump on in. For this demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using the chord progression future your bass number four and I'm just gonna play it right now with my mouse hold that hold hold so that's kind of what I was thinking so let's go ahead and build that out really quick and this is what we're gonna be using to create our melody so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it in this last section on the bottom which is the pattern section now if I just play it right now by itself it's just gonna play two beats at a time that's not really what I want. I want something a little bit spicier. So in order to do that, we're gonna come down and we're gonna hit over on the side, the edit function. And I'm going to open up this playback timing section right here. And let's go ahead and mess with this. So I want the first couple to be kind of shorter hits. I want this third chord to go a little bit longer. Let's hear that. There we go. So that's too short right there. I want these to hold out another bar, another two bars here. So let's hear that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so come up here to the perform section up here at the top, and this is where we're gonna find our performances and phrases. And this is on the basic scaler two. If you don't have the upgrade yet, this is what you're gonna find. And it pretty much does everything for you. So let's go ahead and hit play and hear what it sounds like. So we have a lot of options here. We can go ahead and go to these drop downs and you know pick a bunch of different performances. You can also change the tempo. Um, there's a whole bunch that we can do and I'll let you guys mess with that or if you want to see a more in-depth video I will link it in the description box below. We're just using the basic stock sound in Scalar What I want to do and what you guys are probably going to want to do for your melodies is to use your favorite VST Any synth that you have and we're going to route Scalar to that. So for this demonstration I'm going to be using Serum and I'm just going to pick a sound right here. Let's go with this one as you can see this can be the start of a super fire melody make sure you guys stick around to the end because i'm going to show you a technique that is absolutely going to blow your mind all right so the second technique we're going to use is yes they made it easy melody mode I'm telling you, Scalar does it for you. So we're gonna use the same chord progression that we had before, only this time we're gonna come down to melody mode. And as you can see right here with by all these drop downs, they give you tons and tons of presets to mess around with and play with. So let's go ahead and hear that. It's all about just pretty much picking your favorite sound that's gonna sound the best on your production and you are good to go. The third technique we're gonna use is actually a combination of technique number one and technique number two. So what we're gonna do is actually sync two different scalers together. One is gonna play the chords to sort of fill it out and the second is gonna play the higher top end melody, creating a super lush, awesome sound for your production. In order to do that, let's go ahead and duplicate our original scalar track. Now what we want to do is the, we want both of these to sync up. So we're going to come to the first channel 
and we are going to come over to the setting little button right here and you're going to find three different tabs at the top playback preferences and session what you're looking for is a synchronize button so we're going to hit sync let's go ahead and turn all these on just for now we'll hit refresh okay let's hit sync now these are synced up make it so easy. You will be creating so much more and never have beat block again. If you want a full breakdown on the new 2.2 upgrade features, click on this video right here. I go over all the new stuff, including the new interface, base mode, and so much more. Come on in. The water's warm. <laughs>